Hey, what's going on everybody? Wired here. I hope you guys are all having an excellent, wonderful, fantastical day. And uh, today I stumbled across this uh, really, really odd clip. I guess not odd in terms of 2023 between uh, Drew Barrymore, uh, a socialite Hollywood elitist who has handed everything handed to her because of her uh, family status, and Dylan Mulvaney, uh, a person who has uh, rose to internet prominence and fame for uh, pretty much parodying and making fun of how modern women are, and then claiming to be one and having, uh, I guess, more success uh, in quotation marks than they do. And we're going to get into some ultimate levels of cringe here. So uh, just fair warning, if you can't stand the cringe, uh, please uh, duck out of this video right now. With just uh, Drew Barrymore bowing down to the almighty powerful Dylan Mulvaney, as Dylan Mulvaney is going to explain how um basically how, how marginalized and how uh you know bigoted and misogynistic or transphobic everyone is being towards her or him i should say him because uh no i'm not going to comment on her appearance i'm sorry but yeah without any further ado uh let's let's get into this clip and i'm going to play a couple clips uh, intermittently through this whole thing to try to break it up, but it's uh, you're you're going to be very cringy by the end, so I apologize for that. The risk, yes, the bravery. To oh my gosh, eat. I had no idea how vulnerable I was even willing to get. And honestly, that day one video that I made, it was kind of supposed to be a comedy video because I think coming outs. That's definitely a hundred percent true. It was a total parody of what a modern woman is or what women are. And if you don't believe me on that, uh, here, take a look. Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times, an email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. So just so everyone has some introspective here, that's the level of your cringe you're going to be dealing with, with a biological man pretending they're going to be a woman and being hugely successful off of it. Now, I know I'm going to be accused of being a transphobe, a bigot. Uh, th that happens in every comment section I make about any videos about trans people like this. And, you know, people call me a transphobe, but the truth is I'm not. I just think that, you know, men and women should be considered equal and women should have their own safe spaces, their own sports teams, and not be judged against men. You know, that used to be called feminism, but hey, I digress. Continue on with uh, the delusion here. If I was following myself on TikTok as like a young kid, what would I want to hear? Or, you know, so much of my audience is a younger demographic and I sort of would love to show transness in a way that we haven't seen it before because... See, and that's entirely the problem. She's going to go on about this, or he's going to go on about this. He, I'm sorry, I should say he, because Dylan Mulvaney is, uh, I think he hasn't had bottom surgery yet, so he's still a he. I don't have a problem with trans people. And I uh, said, people always accuse me of being a transphobe. I'm not. What I have a problem with is these, uh, these trans people marketing themselves towards the younger demographic. People can do whatever they want to do. I think that's totally fine. I think if but there's legal limits on everything, got to be 18 to smoke, 21 to drink, 18 to join the army, 16 to drive. We have restrictions on our society for a certain reason because, hey, you can't do this until you're a certain age because this is what we have deemed acceptable as a society. And whether you agree with those certain age restrictions or not, that is uh, what is considered the norm. But, you know, now we can have, you know, 10, 11 year olds transition and it's totally fine. And people like this are pushing that on younger children. And that's what I have a problem with. I don't have a problem with the transness. You know, I don't have a problem with them being highly successful, making a ton of money off it. Hey, it's capitalism. Make your bag, honey. But don't push it on the younger generation. That's what I think most people have an issue with. It shouldn't be pushed on your kids. Make an informed decision when you're an adult. Make the best decision you can. That's what all us adults do. And guess what? Sometimes we're wrong. And sometimes we're right. But for better or worse, at least you're an adult. You make your own decisions. Not when you're a kid, when you're highly impressionable. But I digress. Let's let uh, him keep going. I figured when I came out that I might have to go into hiding and then do all my surgeries privately and change my name. And I instead decided... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm interjecting a lot. That's the exact opposite of what you wanted. If you did that all privately... You'd be a nobody. Nobody would care about you. You did this all for clout. You did this all for public gain. And again, capitalism. Make your bag. But don't pretend like this is something that's not here. I mean, uh, maybe some women down in the comment sections of my video can comment. I mean, I assume you've been women for all of your life. Have you met the president? 
Have you gone a trip to Bora Bora, financed by people who, you know, are, are, are handing you money to transition? Because here, check out these clips. Uh, Mr. President, this is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God and, love you. Uh, thank you. I am extremely privileged to live in a state that... 60 of being a girl, and I am in Bora Bora having my eat, pray, love moment. Look at this. Yeah, so please, somebody tell me about the, the victimhood. Somebody please tell me about how the, the marginalization, the, the, the transphobia. Please explain it to me. I would love to hear. I'm, I'm sure many of you, oh, you're bigoted. You don't know what you're talking about in the comments. Totally fine. Explain it to me. That you can make an entire grift off this in one year. You're a multimillionaire for parodying women. Disgusting. Hey, let me see if the world is willing to accept me this way from day one. And they did. And you actually have... Well, if the world's willing to accept you that way from day one, then how do you live in a transphobic, bigoted, misogynistic, whatever you want to call it, world? I'm confused. I want to go out on a limb here and say the, major, the majority of people do not have a problem with uh, adults transitioning. What people have a problem with is you pushing it on children. That's what everyone is going to have an issue with some really supportive interesting followers i'm just gonna kick it off with lady gaga oh my gosh i love her i, I mean I, I had the born this way ball like poster on my i gotta skip ahead here hold on much hatred directed to the trans community right now it's everywhere and i think the great there is no hatred directed at the trans community right now what you're referring to is people like jk rowling who they have tried unsuccessfully to cancel over and over and over again i'm sure you guys know i'm talking about the harry potter author and correct me if I'm wrong, again, down in the comments, all I've seen J.K. Rowling advocate for is women or men, biological men not being in women's prisons, biological men not using women's restrooms. I've seen surfer, uh, uh, surfer Bethany Hamilton, who has overcome a lot of adversity in her own life, speak out and say, I don't want biological men in the women's surf league. Why is that? That's not transphobic. You're saying give them their own locker room, give them their own league. That is not transphobic. You want special privilege and you're not getting it, so you're pissed off. That's not transphobia. The greatest weapon that I can contribute is trans joy and comedy and talking about hard, you know, subjects and... She does give comedy. He does give comedy. It does give comedy. Whatever really intricate moments of a transition and try to let everybody in to see that you know i'm not a monster i'm not somebody that you know um is trying to to do anything but be myself and be happy I, I also i'm gonna say i don't think dylan mulvaney is a monster although uh that line is pretty gray especially since you're trying to push this ideology on young children like I said, you want to live your best life, you want to get your bag, capitalism, all that stuff, go ahead. Go ahead, slay king, queen, whatever. Don't push it onto children. That's where people have problems with it. Sports, make a different league. Locker rooms, have a different locker room. Or have different times where trans people can change in locker rooms so it's not encroaching on women. Women have been forgotten in 2023 and 2022. So the very m minority community of trans people can go forward. And uh, everyone's celebrating this because women don't matter anymore. We're back to the, the 1910s. Women don't have rights anymore. Women should be comfortable in their own locker rooms. Oh, well, that's, that's bigoted of them. That's, uh, I don't know, misandrous, misogynistic, whatever. It, it's, yeah, they should have their own locker rooms. They should have their own sports teams. Make a trans league, make trans locker rooms. What's so hard about this? I don't get it. Love ya. Having my chosen family. And skip ahead really here. Just uh, surrounding your skip ahead to the really cringe part here. Where, oh, yeah, hold on. Look at someone like you, and I can't imagine anybody disliking you. Oh, please. Do you know, do you oh. want to know, ironically, who uh, dislikes me the most sometimes? Who? I do. Because I remember what you said about Johnny Depp like a year ago and how you made him just as bad as Amber Heard. I don't think you know anything about anything. I know you didn't watch that trial. So I do have a shtick with you, Drew Barrymore. Because I think she's just a grifter going off her family name. But let's continue. 
myself. Oh, me too. No, I can uh, see that, yeah. And, but, I guess, you know, you're oh asking me now, okay. like. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm done here. Like, this is just, oh, this is so cringe. I, I can't. But I want you all to understand right here. Dylan Mulvaney has been so celebrated for an entire year pretending to be a woman. And it's been celebrated. Met the president. He's going on any vacation she wants, he wants, whatever, it wants, whatever you want to call it. Just for parodying women, for making fun of women. And our society doesn't, you know, it condones it. And it's disgusting. Where's it going to be in 20 years? Are we going to push real women out? They're going to be a thing of the past? Anyone going to be successful to be pretending whatever they want to be? Hey, everybody. I'm Mr. Rogers. But wait. I'm not wearing a sweater. See, it just doesn't work. We give in to these people with their delusions, which is fine. I don't think we should cast them out or throw them on their own island. I think we should try to be accepting as a society. I really do. But to the point of elevating somebody's, you know, mental disorder above what real women Real women? I don't believe in that at all. And it really kind of pisses me off. My daughter has just started going to school. She has to go through all of this. Anyone who has children in school right now, I'm sure you know where I'm coming from. It's a very scary thing. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I can't watch any more of this. I suggest you don't watch any more. This is very cringe. Leave a like down in the like button or whatever. Comment down in the like section. Subscribe in the notifications bar. And uh, that's just, you know, my disillusion talking. Because it, it everything works how I say it's going to. And you can't tell me otherwise or else you're a bigot. And I'll catch you in the next one. Later.